St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for August 21st. Desire either to die or to love God, either death or love, because life without the love of God is much worse than death. My God, how happy we will be if with all our hearts we love the divine goodness, which has prepared for us so many favors and blessings. We are totally His amid the tumult that the variety of earthly things presents to us. How better can we show our fidelity if not in the midst of trials and crosses? Solitude has its assaults and the world its annoyances. On all occasions, we must have an invincible soul since help from heaven is at hand for all who trust in God and with quiet humility implore His loving assistance. Look up to heaven and say to the Lord, My God, for you I sail, and for you I row. You are my guide and my pilot. Then console me, so that I may safely reach the port and find the sweet pleasures that will make me forget all the hardships undergone to get there. From the Life of St. Francis de Sales This day should inspire us with particular veneration. Divine Providence chose it to give our great saint to the world. He was born on Thursday, August 21, 1567, in the castle of Sales at Turan, about eight or nine in the evening, in a room dedicated to St. Francis of Assisi. The birth of the firstborn of this noble house was the cause of great joy to the whole neighborhood, especially the poor, who for the next three days were given very generous alms. As an infant, Francis seemed so delicate as to be near death. Hence, he was baptized without delay, and his pious mother consecrated him to the Madonna. Everyone considered him to be a gift of a merciful providence and a child of miraculous prayer. This could be shown in a thousand ways if the brevity of our account allowed. We will say only that it is a real and patent prodigy that in a half century of life he completed so many tasks. He became a saint, converted untold numbers of people, directed many to the heights of holiness, adorned the church with precious writings, founded a religious order, reformed monasteries, and died a saintly death. Because of his many miracles, he was recognized as an outstanding master of the Spirit, an untiring apostle and miracle worker, for all these reasons he is solemnly inscribed in the catalogue of saints. <laughs>